So the next step in achieving a flawless complexion without looking like you're wearing any makeup would be to use a little bit of powders. Now powders are great because in general they're very sheer, they set to a very nice satin finish, they absorb excess oil, and they give you a nice even skin tone, which I really like. Now powders can be available in a loose form such as this, it's just like loose powder in a jar, or they can be available in a compact like this. And all of these recommendations I have today are very, very sheer. They're not going to look like you're wearing makeup, but they do a great job at all the things I just mentioned. Two of them are by L'Oreal and two of them are by Maybelline. And in each, in each brand, there's one that's a pressed powder and there's one that's a loose powder. So let's start off with the loose powders. This one is super inexpensive and it does a really great job at absorbing excess oil. It's by Maybelline and it's called, let's see. Shine Free Loose Powder, and this one is in the shade Medium. And it's available in translucent, light, dark. However, it's just a very loose powder, as you can see here. You use a makeup brush to put it on, or you can use like a poof and just kind of dab it on your face. And it doesn't give you any color. However, it totally absorbs shine and it'll keep your face with a really nice, smooth finish for the entire day. Um, similar is this one by L'Oreal. And this is their translucide powder, which I've definitely talked about before. Um, it's a naturally luminous powder and it has vitamin C in it, okay? Now this one is different from the Maybelline in that it gives you um, like a little bit of a smooth finish, it gives you a little bit of a glow that the Maybelline doesn't. That's because this one has a little bit more mica in it. And mica is a pigment that, it's like a mineral pigment that kind of blends light as it reflects off your face, which kind of blurs any imperfections. This stuff is great for the nighttime, however, I wouldn't recommend it during the day because the sun reflecting on your face can look like it's um, shining a little bit. Similar to that is this one by Maybelline. It's called Fit Me, and this is their pressed powder. Now, as you can see, this one is shade 245. However, they have a ton of shades. What is good though is you can go to Maybelline's website and they have like a shade finder application, answer a couple questions, and it'll tell you exactly what number is right for you. However, this powder is awesome. I've bought a bunch of these because I've gone through them very quickly. It gives you great natural looking color. Um, it's great for nighttime. However, I wouldn't recommend it during the day. Again, it has a lot of mica in it. But when you put this on, it's gonna even out your skin tone, make your face look nice and um, like radiant without looking like you're wearing any makeup. My last one, again, is by L'Oreal, and this is another matte finish powder that doesn't add any shine to your face. It's called True Match, and it's their super blendable powder, and um, this is good because it has a very natural finish. Um, it's very, very finely ground, so when you put it on, it just soaks right into your skin, absorbs oil, gives you a nice, even finish without looking shiny at all. Um, again, and this one has a bunch of different color options you can choose to get one that matches your uh, skin tone perfectly. Now, what are you going to apply these with? Um, generally, I always ap apply powders with a brush. Um, I have a couple different brushes here. This one is very inexpensive from Sephora. Just a classic powder brush, okay? Very easy to take care of. Um, that's going to run you about 10 bucks. If you're going for something a little bit more expensive, you can try this one. It's called a Kabuki brush. I'll show you there. Kabuki. See? And it's very dense, so it's going to pick up a little bit more powder. This is going to be better for loose powders, but however, it blends into your skin very well. My all-time favorite brush is another one from Sephora, and it's in their professional series here. And as you can see, it says airbrush right there. Okay, and it's just a very, very high quality brush, very soft. It's not gonna pick up a ton of the, the powder, but when you put it on, it just blends into your skin very nicely, gives you very, very um, like airbrush finish, as it says, and that makes your skin look awesome, especially at nighttime. So I'm gonna do a small demonstration using the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Just open up the compacts like this, swirl the powder brush around there a little bit, blow off so there's not too much, and then you can just in small circles, apply this to your face, okay? And right now my face has moisturizer and a little bit of serum on it, or the, um, I'm sorry, a little bit of a makeup primer on it to give my face a really nice smooth finish. So just under your eyes and around. Now, like I said earlier, you can wear these um, powders with or without concealer. 
Usually I wear a little bit of concealer under my eyes, but just for purposes of this video, I'm not having any on right now. So as you can see, okay. And it might be tricky to tell because of the bright lights that are on me right now, but in person, this is adding a little tiny bit of color. It's kind of evening out my cheeks and um, giving me a really nice finish. And don't forget to go in your beard because you're gonna have a little bit of oil production there also. So just small circles all over. Make sure you get under your eyes and make sure you get your eyelids too because a lot of people have greasy eyelids. So just like this. And literally, it's as simple as that. You can't tell that I have any makeup on. My skin looks really nice and even and uh, it's not shiny in the least bit, which is kind of what we're going for. All right, guys, so that would be powders. Now, there are definitely other things you can do if you want to go a little bit further. You can use um, tinted moisturizers. So if you're interested in that, check out the next video.